Hey guys, Ark here, bringing to you another episode of the Learning Night Elf series. This one's going to be a uh, roughly a seven-part series of videos. Um, I've been saying I was going to do this for a long time, and I haven't really gotten around to it. Well, I finally did now. So what, what the next seven episodes is going to be kind of covering is just map by map is AOW creeping. So one thing that um, oftentimes when I'll, I'll, let's say I'll turn, turn on a, uh, a Night Elf stream or, or just uh, watch replays of... Um, like newer players or just um, even actually higher level players too. Uh, it's certainly one of the biggest things that can be improved on is AOW creeping correctly. Yeah, uh, and by that I mean there's a lot of instances where you might uh, watch a replay and find someone using let's say two wisps to AOW creep as opposed to you look at a replay of like Moon or one of the other other uh, pro elves and you said that they only use one. Um, that's just a, a high level example. There's other instances of how you pull the creep camp and whatnot. Um, but just as an example, that's, that's one aspect of AOW creeping that is very, very important at a high level that if you don't AOW creep correctly, your timing can get completely thrown off, which makes it really difficult to really copy strategies that you see in replays. Um, so we're going to kind of do these episodes to try and show instances of how do you AOW creep the camp, or how do I try to AOW creep the camp? Um, at least to get your, your mind thinking about, okay, well, is this really the best way to creep it, or is there a better way to do it? Um, so uh, what I've done is I, I have uh, different, uh, all the maps edited to basically start with an AOW, um, and that's actually, we're going to have to restart this actually. Um, but start with an AOW, um, and then uh, roughly the amount of units uh, that you need to begin things. creeping it. Well, that's unfortunate. I, I have this loaded up against the computer, so he's being rushed right here. Um, some of the very straightforward ones, so this is of course Twisted Meadows. Um, so generally you're not going to have your Demon Hunter. You're not going to have your hero with it. You're just going to start creeping. Um, what you will do is you'll have to have one Wisp here. You'll have your AOW, and you'll aggro the creep camp. And you'll pull it, and immediately after your archer attacks, you uproot. That will... Whoops. That will uh, bring the creeps all in line to the AOW. On this creep camp, you do have to repair with one wisp. So that's going to be the uh, important aspect on this creep camp. And then eventually your hero kind of ro rolls in right around this time. Um, I'm probably going to lose the AOW here, um, but um, we'll, we'll use another example. But that's just the general concept here. So we'll let that one go, and we'll try this again. So hero is going to go away um, initially until uh, a little bit into the cube camp. I'm gonna attack with the archer, immediately uproot and run the archer back. As you can see, these creeps start, all start dragging. Start repairing, and then we'll bring this hero in here, and we'll start doing it that way. Now, why do you attack and then uproot? The reason being, let's just show, use this as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and uproot this AOW already, and then start attacking. What happens? So you see how these range units are all in the back? If we look right here, all these range units, the AOW didn't have to move very far at all to start attacking. Once this creep camp dies, which I'm actually going to lose, once this creep camp dies, this AOW has to walk all the way over here to start attacking, and then walk over, all the way over here to start attacking. So you can see that um, the time it takes to complete the uh, creep camp completely will take a lot longer if you uproot your AOW before you aggro the camp. So again, we'll just finalize it and show it here. Well, okay, we won't show it there. But I think you guys have seen enough. Um, I think that's pretty clear cut of how you do that camp. Um, next, we're gonna go on to, uh, this one we might have to do, yeah, we'll have to redo that. We're gonna, we're gonna restart the game here um, because uh, it's, you can't really do it at nighttime as well. Because we're, we're assuming we're going to start with that creep camp, right? Um, so in this map, I kind of made it a little bit weird. So I actually have to be player two at computer. And that needs to be player one. There we go. So we'll get this loaded up here. We'll start with the inner camp and kind of show the correct way to creep that. So we're going to start here. We're going to bring this hero out. And we're going to aggro the creep camp. Run it back, and as it gets close, we'll uproot. So you can see how close 
uh, all those units are. Start tanking. And we'll just go ahead and creep it. So pretty clear cut and dry. You can see these two null wardens ran up to the AOW. And that's how the proper way to creep this orange camp is on Twisted Meadows. So not a lot is going to happen here. We're just going to see if there's the creep camp. So I'm going to move over to this. So there's a couple different ways that you can choose to creep this camp. Uh, personally, what I believe the best way to do it... Um, I kind of do it a little bit uh, different where I drag the entire creep camp away. Some people, uh, I think you can drag it, there's a little bit minimal distance that you can drag it and still get it away with, um, or get it off, but essentially we're going to have to drag this creep camp away with the wisp, send that guy over there, and, oh, shoot. I don't think there's bugs, bugs it out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you see how I just got storm bolt, uh, storm bolted or, or rock throat or whatever it's called? So we're going to show this again, um, and instead, um, we'll show how the the how to prevent that uh, boulder throw from happening. So again, we'll drag the creep camp, send it over this way, uproot it, and we're going to wait for this creep camp to run back. And it just ran back, so we're going to aggro it with the archer, and there we go. It's going to start running to this AOW. And we're starting to attack. And as you can see, the uh, rock golem is no longer going to uh, throw any stuns. So this, is, so essentially, the the keys here is you pull it with a wisp, drag it away. As the creep camp is running back, you aggro it with the archer and run it back to your AOW. That will essentially bug out the creep camp and prevent any uh, storm uh, um, boulder tosses happening. Um, the next creep camp on this map, so. All these locations are typical locations to AOW creep. Um, this is a little bit more standard to do against an orc player, this creep camp here. Um, but it's it's not necessarily only to be done against an orc, but it is, it's way more standard of it versus an orc player. These other uh, AOW creeping uh, places are more standard versus other races as well. So we're going to essentially just uproot the AOW. Um, and... Uh, as an FYI, all the AOW spots that this uh, map has the AOWs on is uh, just about the closest. I believe it is the closest you can get before it'll uh, aggro the creep camp. So if you're ever curious about where, how close you can place your AOW, um, this map will tell you that. Uh, it ends up being about, I believe, 1,250 pixels away um, if you're curious, but um, otherwise you can just look at this. So, I just kind of walk the AOW, um, so I, you, you build your archer, you uproot and walk your AOW to the creep camp, and then you aggro it with your creeps. Uh, timing wise, the way it works out, um, your keeper of the grove gets there right around the time that you start the camp. So the way I've prepped this is, is pretty similar to how you would uh, actually creep it. Ideally what you'd want to be doing is focusing that Ogre Magi down first, because if you're up against an orc player and he goes for the shop first build order. Um, if you're the last, if this is the last spot to scout, he could still potentially steal that creep if you creep it slowly. So always focus the ogre magi in this case uh, before anything else. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show it again. It's, it's nighttime, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but the same concept will show, and I'll, I'll show how I focus the ogre magi first. Uh, you don't actually need the wisp repair, I believe, if you use the treants to aggro. Um, but I always keep one wisp there anyways because you're going to use it to build the Tree of Life so you, and you can protect it, so it's not a big uh, a hurt to, to have it. So we're going to get it a little bit closer and then aggro the creep camp. And we're going to switch this over. And we'll start killing the Ogre Magi. And this is very similar to how you would creep it um, in the daytime. There's not really any difference. So you creep that first, and now you can creep the rest of the camp. And now even if the Blade Master gets here, you have at least prepped um, everything of value, except for, the, of course, the experience that you're going to be missing out. Um, and that will do it for Twisted Meadows. So uh, we're going to go ahead and call this episode complete. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care now. Bye.